Deep inside the rural district of Omoro is Lalog Primary School where the fallen speak of parliament Jacob Olanya went for his primary education. However, according to the head teacher of Lalog Primary School, Joyce Okoth, the current state of the school is appalling with most of the structures in dilapidated state and already being contemned by the district engineers are not for use. It is quite alarming. The structures are not okay. First of all, this is a P7 school with seven classes, but we only have six classes. And the six classes, there are only four, which are some are of fair. The other three, they are not. The other two, actually, they are not even, I could just say, because they are just in open place. The windows are not there. The door shutters are not there. And this is now disturbing teachers and learners a lot. And then there is no staff room in this school. Our teachers sit under the shade. This shade here, the tree you are seeing, they sit there and they, they write on their laps because we don't have even tables. The school has only two tables, which is not even big. So you can see the status of the school. The head teacher, Joyce Okoth, says when he met the fallen Speaker of Parliament in 2018, he pledged to fix all the necessary facilities required in the learning process, including fencing the school and turning it into a boarding primary school. That is why he came up to see that building classrooms, making the whole thing in boarding and furnishing it, that was his promises, that the seats should also be there. Right now, the enrollment of the school, we are only 375, and the 375 is not the normal enrollment of those days when those of Jacob Olanya were here. This school was leading with thousands of children. But why are children going away? It is because of the structure which we have. Right now, P1 children do not have where to sit and they are on the floor. But since the speaker died before fulfilling his pledges, the head teacher and the school management now appeals to the government to take over and revamp the school. As we lost him, sincerely the gap is so great for us. And as the school, immediately we learned that our dear speaker has passed on. We, as the school administrators and the management, we decided that if the government could come along and complete the promises and the pledge that this is a, uh, the speaker left behind, then at the entrance of our school, at the gate, we put there a monument in remembrance of him. And not only that, we also saw that if we could really start a, a Jacob Foundation, whereby the government put something in a basket, where we will start on from there. That would be really welcoming. The chairman of Moro District Local Government, who is also the local chairperson organizing committee for the burial of the dead speaker, have also revealed that Olanya was paying school fees for over 180 vulnerable children. At the time he passed on, he had taken care of holding hands of over 180 students, paying them in secondary schools, institutions and universities. What is the future of these children? Because in these children we see Jacob Olanya. What is the future? We want to appeal through either state house scholarship and other scholarships in this country that let the hands of these children, we all the hands of these children Another project that has been undertaken by the Fallen Speak of Parliament is a revolving fund initiative called the name the Dano Padano. The Dano Padano Foundation provides soap loans for groups at an interest of 5% in a revolving manner. This Dano Padano Foundation must be maintained. And as the local organizing committee and a leader in Omoro district, want to appeal to the president, parliament, and the microfinance support center. How can we work together? This building, located in the middle of Lalogi Trading Center, is supposed to house a radio station and belongs to the fallen speaker of parliament, Jacob Olanya. The building is complete pending installation of radio equipment. The transmitters have already been installed. Omoro district leaders and the local organizing committee for the burial of the dead speaker of parliament wants government to take over completion of Omoro FM.
He had even gone as far as procuring the necessary equipment for the establishment of Omoro FM here in Omoro district. But death did not allow him to accomplish that vision. What is remaining, and I want to make a special appeal to Uganda Communication Commission, that Uganda Communication Commission, please, give us, the people of Omoro District, a frequency so that the vision of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Ulanya, remains. Here locally, he has done something very wonderful. There are the two parties, or the two groups of believers here, Church of Uganda and the Catholics. Each of them has a chapel here. He provided for the roof for all of them. He did not make a distinction. He said, no, these are people of God. You promote the belief in God, whether in that one or in this one. Olanya has done a lot of things to people of Acholi, to the young generation of Acholi, to people of Uganda, even to Parliament of Uganda. So his contribution, only one person cannot talk about it because he was a person who had the potential who had the ability to lead, not in pretense, but he was leading the nation with all his heart. Yeah, this is what I can say about Ulanya. And I believe if he's hearing, he would also understand that what I'm saying is the truth about him. As local leaders of Wacholi sub-region, we, uh, we had a meeting with the top leadership of, of actually sub-region, the LC5 chairpersons and the city mayor. And in the meeting, they resolved that as actually as North, Northern Uganda, we should have a joint full council meeting. And right now, as I'm talking, we are still waiting for confirmation from West Nile sub-region. For now, we have already confirmed the attendance they, they accepted to be part of the, 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 the council and we're only waiting only for West Nile to respond. But for the Greater Chile, we will be having member of all the councillors from the district council and the city, but from other regions like Lao and West Nile, we shall only be having representative. And when I say representative, we shall be having the members of the executive and office of the speaker to be part of our joint council meeting. This is still our local arrangement. Uh, we are still seeking for permission from the government if they can give us that slot so that we give pay less respect to our brother, Honorable Jacob Olanya.